Now, so who do you think is uh, going to win this game? All right. I'll go... Uh... I'll go win strike, and if you're looking to guess like us, you can find out the odds for the winning teams from our partner EGB by. Take a click, take a look, and uh, maybe you can have successful predictions like us, but, you know, we're just too good, so I don't know about Are that. Are you ready? Step lively now. Your Admiral is on board. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and no boots on this crystal maiden, oh god. Thirty seconds to battle. The battle begins! Hmm. Baron's pretty standard. I think. Yeah. We used to see, like, Alks get aggressive and, and try to get all four, but I just don't think the value's entirely there anymore. If you, Especially if you're giving up, like, first blood, right? I mean, maybe Step maybe on later on. Now. Your admiral is on board. Mm -hmm. Goddamn, taking that, <laughs> stealing that, if you will. I mean, it's a range creep, man. I feel like that's stealing. Do my thing. Let's see if Cheshire Cat does against Aggressive Child and Duke OS. A lot of damage early. Warriors of the wood. Does Crystal Maiden have quite a bit? Yeah, he's Oof. playing with fire. I don't know about that. He's playing with fire. That's for sure. <laughs> we we never doubted him. <laughs> I don't think we've ever doubted a kill in our lives. Come on. No, it doesn't. Hmm. He's got the mangoes. Would you rather see the Orb of Venom or the Boots? Because we've seen it both ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We haven't really uh, talked about mid yet either. Troll against this Kunkka. His Kunkka is doing quite a bit better at the moment. And they're gonna try and get aggressive child. Goddamn still just level one though. So all he's got is the Slither and Crush. He doesn't have the Bash of the Deep yet. Level two probably makes that a lot more possible. Cheshire Cat in a lot of trouble and he might just drop to the multi-shot. The Southern Crush keeps him alive. Aggressive Child well, can they get the last hit? Right click. Oh. You've just achieved yeah, the first Duke is there for Thanks the first blood and there's nothing goddamn could really do about that. Yeah. Not <laughs> 
I think the mana becomes a problem, and now they're gonna go on a Duclos. They should have the damage to get at least a return kill at the moment. Goddamn's taking a lot of damage, and eventually Cheshire gets the long-winded trade. Oh, troll. <laughs> the best way to see a mid. Honestly, dying up there in top is probably better for Douglas because all he had was one mango coming out, so he was out of mana. He wouldn't be really applying that pressure again. Pleb's doing well over bottom. Gagey. Perfect. Nope. There's the God's Rebuke into the spear, but going after the Alk isn't exactly the target that you want to be going after uh, immediately like that, especially with Soul Rip available for Gagey. But up towards top, Duplis goes down, Cheshire Cat gets the kill. They look over at Aggressive Child for some damage, but there's not going to be any follow up from Cheshire Cat. It's just goddamn throwing some harassment out, and they've got themselves a second kill. Yeah, that's the spear finishing him off, and it's... I'm mean, at Bounty Rune time, so we'll see how many go the way of uh, Siberian for this Courier Alchemist. Is, Undyne's also going to lose his Courier that was trying to sit under the Tier 1 tower. So they know there's a ward there now. Can they get this kill me out? They're also going mid onto Rebel. We've got the Ghost Ship coming through. Slaughter with Bash of the Deep as well as the Slytherin Crush. They should be able to get the kill on the Troll. Got him, they don't get the Alk. Dyer's middle tower is learning yeah. to fear. Dyer's middle Did tower is it? under attack. I had a way to stop that TP, but it had to be immediately after the tree disappeared. Double damage now for Mastermind, and that's Double gonna damage. not refill a bottle because he doesn't have one. At least not yet. He's not going for one at all. Mm -hmm. Radiance bark has grown thick. Top lane, they're pressuring in. Have some harassment on the Duclos. Good sprout, yeah. Into the Slytherin Crush, do they have the damage? They need one more shot from the Nature's Prophet. Cheshire Cat now on a trip on a killing spree with three kills. Take a look in the Undying, Gagey. Get the Tombstone too, that's, that's a good influx of gold. Up against this Alchemist, get the Tombstone and get a kill on the Undying. Whisper of a strategy. Dyer's top tower is <laughs> under attack. It fights for its life. Dyer's courier has been slain. Well, that was not very nice. Warriors of the wood. God, Duco has taken so much damage already. TP's into this lane and he already feels like he's in trouble with the multi-shot's pretty good. Frostbite. Slytherin Crush comes out. The Wisp comes in. Can he save Duclos? The damage isn't enough just yet. Now they're going to get the kill on a Cheshire Cat as he tries to sprout and TP away. It's a three times killing spree to get that kill. But <laughs> the tree answer will kill Duclos. Its power is now without an owner. And Kunkka's 59 and 12. Now, obviously, some of those are neutrals, but he's still having a great time. Step lively now. Your Admiral is on board. Family will understand. Whoa. Fated Dyer's birds. middle tower is under attack. No gale can snuff the flame. It like the salt sea air. As a crystal maiden, you see that fate of brooch drop, and you're wishing the drow would pass that over. <laughs> yeah, no, no chance. We talked about Siberium trying to be active early, though, and 
they immediately go into the arena to try to get the count a little play, but there's the torrent and the ghost ship thrown just to deter Windstrike from jumping into the Alchemist. And take this stack. While that's happening, Swarder is trying to make o uh, make his way over mid and take over some XP. Get himself to level 6 as quickly as he can. Have that Corrosive Haze, the Minus Armor, going to be very important to how active this draft is, too. Fader Brooch for both sides. That's a good one for the Alchemist to have. And now he's level 6, so now he's got the uh, Chemical Rage. Jelly, yeah, I'm a little bit surprised. I was gonna say though, is Royal Jelly one of those neutral items? Like, do some neutral items that are just like top tier for specific heroes? Is that one of them? Killing us for arena. See if they can get this kill. Take out Gaichi. It's just undying, dying again though. And he's 0-3 and 0. He's three of the five kills that Wind Strike have. He's not too upset about that. Take a look over mid, Ghost Ship comes in with the X aggressive child just getting knocked out of this game very quickly. They bring in DK Focus with the Rio okay. They land the spear on the Kunkka that hits him onto the tier one tower mid. Mastermind, he's gonna fall and they'll make the trade for aggressive child and take out Mastermind. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Double damage for goddamn. Trying to catch up to Yamage, not even with the sprint. That was a level three sprint too. No. What are the items that he needs to be active around the map though? Bottom tower is under attack. There is little I can top do. Tower is feeling its mortality. <laughs> the Dyer have fortified their grove. Bring the Treants towards mid. They really want to take this mid tier one tower, and there's really nobody defending it here from the Dyer side. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower no has fallen. On board. No tree shall ever grow there. Yeah, somebody's got to try and stop little Puller. Ah, regeneration! mind dying like they're gonna get the spear they'll get the kill into the sardar but for the most part i think you're just okay with that dyer's middle tower is learning to fear on top of which on top of which that sends cheshire cat over bottom so he's able to fill out that bottom lane push that out like he doesn't get caught over top like it's just the sardar but they're gonna go with the arena as well as the relocate as they start talking about cheshire cat they'll land the spear and they'll take out his life he picks up the orchid beforehand that's a pretty fast orchid for an offlane nature's prophet Yeah, 
Yeah, it seems like that's one of the ways that they're getting kills at this point. It's not going to be your typical alchemist build where he takes all his time to just try and farm. Meanwhile, bottom DK focus, he gets caught, but blinks away before the ghost ship hits. That's maybe a, a bit of an early blink. Maybe they're a bit surprised on that, but good job by DK focus to get out of that. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. the arena they go for a little play they're trying to get the kill into the alchemist and it looks like they'll be successful in doing so the damage just coming out from the image with the tether coming through from the wisp is just more than enough they're going to continue to fight this they've got gaichi coming around the side duplis goes with that ulti and nobody's able to stop this crystal maiden they get the kill on the gaichi they look over at goddamn they hit the frostbite on the kunkka they'll take out three they'll look for mastermind but they're not going to dive past the tier two tower that was so good Radiance Middle Tower is losing its foundation. Radiance Middle Tower has fallen. Mm. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiance Middle Tower is the under attack. Of, that Duco assault was so good. Nobody was able to stop him. Yeah, well, now you're gonna have Alchemist and Kunkka go to the Halberd. Like, is that enough with the Orchid? Like, does it kind of mesh well? You're saying the Orchid's not gonna be good, but is it gonna... Like, he's going Halberd as well. They're actually going three Halberds on this Siberium squad. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Yeah, so they're gonna go for the X as well as the Torrent. And they've got the tombstone down, but there's the silence. Can they get the kill on the wisp before they're able to get Rebel out? Rebel's actually doing a lot of damage on the Cheshire account. He's got nowhere to go. The ghost ship comes in. Now relocate back out, and he's bombed back into the fight. And they land the spear onto the Undying. It's just Gaichi. The tombstone's doing so much in this fight. We'll see if they go for more. They'll look over at Duke. They've got the X as well as the Torrent coming through, as well as the Slytherin Crush. Corrosive Haze, Dukeless. Goddamn's thinking about it. He wants to make the jump, but they land the X anyway, so they'll land the Torrent. And there's the Blink Slytherin Crush to finish him off, but it looks like Goddamn might give his life up for it. But he does not latch onto a tree, so Goddamn may be able to slither his way. Hopefully to an escape if you're a Siberian fan. Wow. They're still looking for this tier one tower. Radiant structures are fortified. They require ties. Yeah, but the spear comes out onto the Kunkka Mastermind now. They've got the Orchid through onto this onto this troll. Troll taking a lot of damage. He's been disarmed. He's already used that ult, so they're going to be able to kite him around and get the kill eventually. They've got the X into the torrent. They'll throw him up into the air, get the kill. They'll look over at DK Focus, take out another. Two heroes gone on the side of Windstrike. Especially diving the tier one like that. Seems a little bit over aggressive. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. No gale can snuff the flames. Well, they kind of came over to the trees, right? Make that aggressive play, look to try and get a kill Dyer's and take the tower. tower is under attack. Illusion. Mm -hmm. 
been seeing a lot of teams go one hero solar crest, one hero medallion. But, so that's not something like Siberium's gonna do is that solar crest and the medallion, right? They've already got Slardar for the minus armor. Is it? Oh, wow. Well, they both... Like, Slardar could probably go for the Solar Crest, and then you could have the Medallion on the Undying, right? If you're going to do that kind of build that we've seen a couple times where it's one and one Lane. Can't get that. And this is now they're bottom and Siberium going to Roche. They're trying to take about that 19 minute mark uh, first Roche. We were kind of on it with the 18 minute call. And it's going to be Kunkka who goes for the Solar Crest, and then you've got the Medallion on the Sardar. Or you'll get the medallion on the Sardar. So, what's what's the um, deal with doing something like this? Like, why are you getting a Solar Crest and a medallion? There were so many times when I first started playing Dota, I would get told somebody's already got a medallion. Mm -hmm. Step lively now. Your admiral is on board. Mm -hmm. Dyer's top tower is feeling its mortality. Radiant's bottom tower is fading fast. Are you trying to take the tier two here, bottom? Dyer's top tower is under attack. It fights for its life. Yeah, they're gonna Dyer's lose their top, top tier too. Has fallen. The earth seems relieved. Oh, Bash. Ducos is gonna drop, and that's the little pleb. Give him another influx of gold. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Yeah, if that fight doesn't exist, then obviously that's a big caveat. Then they'd be in a lot more trouble. Dyer's bottom tower hopes for I think, though, you're seeing Siberian kind of get to this point where they might become an unstoppable force. Is on the wind. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. It may yet stand. Especially if Out gets into this Abyssal Blade where he just Dyer's jumps on the troll and they kite him to oblivion. No Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah. Dyer's bottom Ooh, tower out. hopes for aid. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Radiant's courier is with us no more. I don't really think Dyer's that. Dyer's bottom yeah. tower is under attack. It may the dire side has grown thick. All right, defusal. Radiant's but top tower is under attack. It shows not really doing no much. More. Like if, you, if you're the radiant side, you already forced them back. You're happy with that. Yeah, Duke was in trouble. They're gonna TP over the nature's prophet. Maybe get this free. kill and one more shot. Yeah, Cheshire Cat gets there in time. Finishes off the crystal maiden. But is that worth it just for Gaethje? Like, now he's going to leave and Gaethje's not even going to die. He Sorbs himself. They've got the stun on the Mars. DK Fogg is in a lot of trouble. The gods are mute. The gods are mute to push him back. And yeah, they'll have the Blink Southern Crush. <laughs> he's into the Sprout. But uh, they get the kill on a DK Fogg and it's another kill for Will Pleb. Step lively now. Your Admiral is on board. Dyer's middle tower is low. You're about to have the solar crest fear. on the Kunkka too.
Dyer's middle tower is under attack. No gale. Okay, we're gonna get this kill onto the troll. We'll find the first hit bash of the deep. Now the Southern Crush. There's the silence. Alchemist coming over with a stun as well. Got the relocate out. There's no way out of this one. Yamich will try to survive, but... And Lou Flip's not even bothering to go and get that kill. And there's so many ways to lock him down. Eight knots and full ahead. Step lively now. Your Admiral is on board. Yeah, and it's coming down to where he's probably going to have an Abyssal before they even make that game deciding fight. Very difficult for Dyer at the moment, as Alchemist is just kind of like taking over. DP over towards top, and Lil Pub's gonna make his way over there. Oh, stun on the Crystal Maiden? Just need the vision, and yeah, CM's dead to rights. Shashara Cat gets the kill and is on a mega kill streak. I sold his fortune. Step lively now. Your Admiral is on board. And Cheshire Cat dies to Aggressive Child in the relocate with the arena. I foresee the Radiance top tower falling shortly. Tower is under attack. So 11k lead, no and they have to wait for Cheshire Cat, right? Ooh, there? You were right in the, yeah, they were right by Lil Pleb and... Nobody was here to help him. Oh, no, he's gonna try and TP, but he's immediately stopped Step lively now. Radiance bottom tower is under mm -hmm. attack Radiance bottom tower has fallen. The pace of battle quickens. They smoke up, they'll look towards goddamn, they'll look towards mid, but at least for right now, they're not really finding anything. Gage, he might be the only one that gets caught, but he does have goddamn right behind him. And here comes the relocate. So goddamn's gonna look to run. Gage is surviving for quite some time. Finally, they'll take out the tombstone. He's making a lot of space for the rest of his team. Uh, <laughs> yeah, first hit bash there. Rooted. Look there. TK focus. Ooh, good southern. Push. He doesn't have his ult. This is going to be really tough for the troll. I. But is that even going to be enough? They've got the tether as well as the mech being popped by Yamich into the multi-shot. Goddamn taking a lot of damage there walking in, but... That was a risky play from the troll. Is he? Eight knots and full ahead. <laughs> He's 
Sardar enjoys having the clumsy net for him for now. But doesn't look like anybody's gonna take it yet. Is Siberium just waiting to get that next Roche and then make their move? Dukos' Duco's smoke was broken there. They've got the Hex now on the Nature's Prophet. This ward is going to spot the rotations. So they've got the vision. They're going to look for Troll. And there's Corrosive Haze. Bashes onto the Zardar. He goes in a little bit too deep, and he doesn't get the Slytherin Crush to come out. They'll focus their attention onto Aggressive Child for a moment, but he pops that Manta Arena down around both Mastermind as well as a little play, but he uses that Abyssal to get out of the arena. Looks over at DK Focus. They've got the Sword Crush as well as the Minus Armor. Here's the ulti from Dukulis. Alchemist is in a lot of trouble, and he's going to fall. Yeah, Mastermind, he's going to get caught out here as well. And this is right when Roche comes up. This game's on its head now. It almost feels like the net worth doesn't matter at this point. It will fall like a ripe apple. Look at how fast they just take that building. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. There is still much to be done. Radiant's middle tower is losing its foundation. Radiant structures are fortified. The stream tells of tactics. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower has collapsed. Radiance Middle Barracks have fallen. Radiance Middle Barracks are under attack. They might be able to force a fight and potentially, I would say, finish the game if the fight goes completely their way, if they're going to stay that aggressive. Radiance Bottom Tower is Yeah, there's no reason I think not to. Radiance Bottom Tower is now but kindling. Dyer's Bottom Tower hopes for Tombstone. X Torrent onto Yamich. And there's the bash on a Dukeless, but Slaughter in too deep once again. So their crush comes out and hits on a troll, but they've got a great arena down. Ghost ship, BKB, popped by the troll. Can he get the kill into the Alchemist? Soul Rip trying to keep him alive. Look at the damage that's coming out. Dukeless again untouched while he throws this ult. They'll get the kill into Gagey. They'll end up using, losing damage. Little Pleb falls as well, but he doesn't have buyback to look over at Mastermind. They'll get the kill into the Kunkka. And this is really bad for Siberium as they'll find Cheshire Cat to clean up the full team. They were too late to save Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. It will fall like a ripe apple. Radiance Middle Tower has I fallen. To leave. There is still much to be done. Radiance what a, Middle Tower is losing. What an immediate the turnaround from Windstrike. They got through that on the tier three though. I think they can handle it. Radiance Ancient is under attack. Their grove will not last. And they won't. Nothing. Windstrike take the game. Wow. Really well done.